This is Twit. Listen, I, I don't understand if anyone pays attention to anything I say. But if you're using Windows 11, yes, <laughs> there you go. You need to listen to this one. Somebody sent me an email saying, I will never listen to Windows Weekly again because you keep telling everybody to use Windows 11. And I said, apparently wow. you've never we listened never to Windows. never say that. You've never I listened know. to Windows Weekly. I'm what like, are you talking really? about? Wow. We have never <laughs> said... Go well, let me tell 11. you, right now, you should you should be using Windows 11, obviously. So we'll just get past that. No, I don't. Who cares? <laughs> Sorry, he's but not listening Here's anymore. the thing. Here, here's so, listen, I'm, 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 this is so hard to explain. It, it actually applies to other things in Windows 11. I'm still in the process of kind of uncovering this. I, I feel like I might have mentioned this very vaguely last week, but I think that Windows 11 is ultimately about the elimination of choice. And... They're really accelerating the number of places where you don't get a choice. And uh, you see it in things like the default apps, baloney. Um, they've made changes to settings that apply to this. So, so one of the, it, it's really hard for me to speak definitively about this because between Windows 11, the first version, and 22H2, and between the Home Edition and Pro Edition on both of those versions, there are it has changed since Windows 10, and it's changed since the original version of Windows 11. So I'll just say it like this. If you go back to Windows 10 and you're setting it up for the first time, you'll, there'll, there'll be a screen that comes up that says, hey, you can back up your stuff to OneDrive. Do you want to do that? And then you, there's a button and you can see we can, we can back up your desktop, we can back up your documents, we can back up your pictures. You can choose which of the three or you can say, I don't want any of them. You, there's a choice there. In Windows 11, I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to speak definitively, like I said, but I think in Home they took away the choice. I think in Pro, they re, they continued the choice, and then when you slip forward to 22H2, I think in Home the choice again is gone. And in Windows 11 Pro 22H2, I think what you get is a thing that says you can enable backup or not, but you don't get to choose what the folders are. It like slowly sliding back the choice. So here's the thing: if you're in the Windows inside a preview program, that choice, that reset of your choice about backup happens every single time you install a new build. You have to look at this. And so this is what you need to do. Open OneDrive, click the little gear thing and go to settings and go to the backup tab and then click manage backup. And what it will show you is which, if any, of those folders are being backed up. If they're checked, they're being backed up. So here's the kicker for me. This just happened to me. By the way, this happened to me today after I wrote this tip. So this this is just verifies what I was going to say anyway. I upgraded to Windows 10, 11 version 22H2 today in Mexico. This laptop is a review laptop. It had the original version of Windows 11. <laughs> They're going to put that in the box. I upgraded yep. to Windows 11 today in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Walter Rod, Windows Weekly. <laughs> yes, that's right. Here's what changed. I disabled backup for all of those folders because I don't want those folders backed up. Mm -hmm. Now they are all being backed up. Oh, the thing is, my desktop has a 4.7 gigabyte ISO file that I used to do the upgrade. Oh, great! That thing That's is being backed, backed up. up to OneDrive. Oh, no. what the frick is so that? So it turned it on without your say yep, so. Without even asking. That's so, so here's annoying. the thing: you buy a new computer. Let's say it's uh, it could be today, it could be six months from now. You buy a new computer. Or you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Depending on which version of Windows 11, depending on Home or Pro, you will see some screen that says something about OneDrive backup. It may or may not give you the choice to say yes or no. It will not give you the choice to pick the folders. You have to, have to, have to, have to. Once you get to the desktop, go into OneDrive settings, yeah, I do it go to that time. backup tab, and see what it actually is doing I don't want it to. and turn it off yep, I don't if want that's it to. what you want. And yep. you may want it. You know, If you want it, that's fine. But make sure it's what you want. It, this is insidious. And it's not just this thing. There are other examples of this Windows 11. I'm going to talk about those in the future. But um, you need to look at this. And if you're in the Insider program, one thing, you, like for example, one thing it does is, uh, and I you know, experienced this today. So I, I have very specific folders that I have in what's now called the home section of the navigation pane. It adds back folders because you've done a new install. So the, I think it was documents and pictures just showed up because, you know, Windows knows better than I do. And I'm like, I don't want those there. But that's something you will see. It's visual. So if you make any kind of customization there, you'll probably notice it. The OneDrive thing, that could be ha that's happening in the background. You don't even know it's happening. Um, and, you know, we were just talking about the OneDrive web interface and how I never use it. 
Here's one way to use it. Go see if those stupid things are packed up in your <laughs> in OneDrive and delete them there uh, if you don't want them. This is a this is to me a, a kind of a serious transgression. It's a um, you know people who aren't paying for OneDrive only have five gigabytes of storage or seven if they're yeah, grandfathered yeah. in. But that's the whole uh, plan, that, Paul. That ISO file would have filled the whole thing that's up. That's their evil plan. You don't don't you get it? <laughs> that's by the way, Apple does well, the same thing. They don't turn it on once you turn it off, but. The default yeah. is absolutely on for uh, Apple, mm -hmm. you know, iWorks and, and other programs. And this is a, this is conspiracy like theory, theory yeah. stuff. Like I, <laughs> well, I, I, think, here's I my, doubt myself so much about it. I have to keep looking at like, is this really happening? Here's my, and it is really happening. Here's my positive take on it: is they mm -hmm. know people don't back up, and they're and and they're going right. to hear howls of pain, you know. Uh, and so they're just turning well, on. It's essentially turning I, on backup for stuff. That I still feel like, do. look, here's the thing. I agree with you 100%. But I'm sure that's there's a thinking. screen in setup that talks about OneDrive backup. Yeah. In Windows 10, it actually explained which folders. It gave you the choice to choose them. Now the screen is still there. It just doesn't give you the choice. Yeah. If you're going to have the that's screen there, no, you got to give, give them, them the choice. Yeah, you, yeah, you got make it. Make them understand what you're doing. You could say you really ought to be backing it up and leave this check. But if yep. you don't want to, here's your chance. Mm -hmm. I listen. I, I I preach this to people who use Windows. Put everything in OneDrive. It's, it's, I mean, assuming you're paying for it in some way, because when you wake up one day and your computer doesn't turn on, or your computer gets stolen for or whatever happens to it, you'll always be fine yeah. because you're not saving important data files to a folder right. that's not part of OneDrive. Right. Always save to back OneDrive. But you know, I use. I look. I have a very particular configuration. The way I do things. Whatever. I use the desktop personally as a scratch space. That's why that file is there. I'm going to delete want to it back soon. That up. Yeah, you don't, you don't want, want this thing up. backed up to OneDrive. I'm on like a pretty low bandwidth situation here where I am. I don't need this thing sucking up bandwidth. I would, like that's mm -hmm. let alone occupying storage space in a thing I'm paying for. I, agree. I just uh, this freaks me out. It's it's weird. But you, and there's also this problem where uh, the people who write this stuff get un, you know virtually unlimited one drive that you know yep. and so they don't even think about like the five <laughs> right. gigabyte mortals it's just well, this of course is you like want to store it there this is like uh, the proliferation of mobile apps on a phone you think well you know I, this thing has infinite storage who cares well here's how you why you care those things are bad those things are updating every single day yeah why do you have 37 apps yeah. updating every week or every oh, day yeah. whatever it is that you're not even using what are you doing yeah. That's what. The, you know, that's why you should. Everybody should go on a cruise once a year, because when you have no <laughs> bandwidth, right. you immediately realize. Right. Yep. How? Yep. Nothing works. Yeah. My Nintendo yeah. Switch. I Nothing. couldn't oh play God. a game because I wasn't yep. online, and all the games have anti piracy features. Mm -hmm. You don't really. Uh, you know. It makes you feel like entitled in a way. You don't realize how much you take this for granted, oh, yeah. and you also really don't realize how many. Well, services obviously, but apps you use. That 100% require an internet connection, yes. and you never really even yeah, thought no. about it. Notion, mm -hmm. yeah. Notion is a great example. That was the one I noticed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flying a you know last yeah, year. We want to use it. Yep. Yep. By the yeah, way, if you like these kinds of tips, you know what you should be doing. You should be listening <laughs> to Hands on Windows with this cat right, right here, Paul Thorat. In fact, the next episode is going to be open to all. We're doing both with Hands on Mac and Hands on mm -hmm. Windows. Uh, we're we're four Club okay. Twit members initially because. Uh, I forget where we're at. Do you know which episode? It I is? do know the one with all the shortcut keys, which we thought. Oh, good. That's this a is good a, one. this is a great one. I'm a keyboard nut. Yeah, well, you can, I can. I'm like a vestigal limb over here. Yeah, um, he's a keyboard nut. Where's his keyboard? Yeah, I know. I can't, I, it's making <laughs> me crazy. Thank you. There uh, it is. <laughs> uh, so this. Uh, so what we're gonna do? Normally, because we're when we launch new shows now, we're going to launch them in the club because we don't have audience, we don't have advertisers, they go together. But the club members are paying, so we figured this is a way to kind of mm -hmm. jumpstart shows like Hands on Windows. We know mm -hmm. that's going to get big enough to go public, but we get it started, we get it flowing, we get an audience, we can start selling it, and then we can go public with it. But we want to periodically, with both Hands on Mac and Hands on Windows, have some episodes, yeah. especially ones that are of great utility. So we just did that with hands That's a good on one. Mac. I, I, I yeah. really want people to use keyboard shortcuts. It's, exactly. you know, consider, here's, I'll just go, throw out one thing. I'm sorry to completely derail this. Not at all. If you think about what's in the taskbar when you get Windows 11 out of the box, right? There's a widgets thing, a start button. There's three more items that are uh, search, task view, and chat, which is for Teams. And then Microsoft pins three apps, uh, fold, um, File Explorer, Edge, and the store. Your PC maker may add two more. You can delete every single one of those things. 
except for the start button, and still access every single one of those things with a keyboard shortcut. Like, you can get rid of widgets, get rid of task view, get rid of search, get rid of chat, and you can still use them. Now you've freed up space for your own apps. You don't, like, those things are just there so people find them, but once you know they're there, you don't need them there because you could do Windows key plus W for widgets, Windows key plus S or Q for some reason for search, Windows key plus C for chat, and Windows key plus uh, tab for task view. All you have to know is the, ta and I, and this is me, I'm, you know, like I just do keyboard shortcuts all the time.